Welcome to the Best of Watch Mojo, the series that refeatures some of our biggest and best videos that you may have missed. He said Sammy. How does he know about Sammy? Oh, f you may recognize their faces, but somehow in all their movies, everything else has changed. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 chameleon actors and actresses. I appreciate your honesty. For this list, we'll be looking at actors and actresses who change so much about themselves from role to role that audiences have learned that they will always keep us guessing when we see them on screen. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Keep in mind that there may be some spoilers, so this is your spoiler alert. So I guess the bank's gonna be your next step, huh? The bank? Number 10, Christian Bale. Listen, listen very, very carefully. Dedicated to his craft, Christian Bale has spent his career making some of the most dramatic changes to his body of any actor we can think of. You okay? Don't I look okay? Arguably one of the best actors of this or any generation, Bale has never rested solely on his natural talents, instead going from ripped in American Psycho to dangerously skinny in The Machinist. Making similar changes for roles like The Fighter and Reign of Fire, Bale is willing to undergo almost any kind of transformation if he believes it will add to his performance, whether it be for a blockbuster flick or an indie production. I mean, I guess I'm a pretty sick guy. With multiple Oscar, Golden Globe, and other awards under his belt, it seems like it's all been worth it. You're either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Number nine. Ben Kingsley. There's a little matter we have to discuss. Good, because I got a little matter I want to discuss with you. Come on in, come on in. If you watched Gandhi and Sexy Beast back to back, the whiplash that Ben Kingsley's performances would cause could leave you with a sore neck for weeks. Well, you missed the round tree. No. Yes, round tree. No. Yes, Grosvenor. Earning award nominations for playing Itzhak Stern, Oscar Schindler's right-hand man in Schindler's List, and Mayor Lansky, one of America's most ruthless and deadly mobsters in Bugsy, He's capable of admirably pulling off any role given to him. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. Well, I'm a German. The perfect example of Kingsley's ability to switch forms may have been seen in Iron Man 3, though. Playing a terrifying villain and a comedic actor in one film says it all. I um, had a little problem with um, substances, and I ended up um, doing things, no two ways about it, in the street that a man shouldn't do. Next. Number eight, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Thank you very much. Some casual observers may have been foolish enough to think that Mr. Hoffman's performances are primarily of the sad and downer variety. I was the greatest goddamn snow queen in the history of PS11 Paramus, New Jersey. But that couldn't be farther from the truth. You wanna wash my shirt? What, what are we gonna do while we're waiting in your hotel room and I'm not wearing my shirt? Though his role in Owning Mahoney is arguably the best example of that type of performance, his turns in films like Boogie Nights or Almost Famous couldn't be further from that. But you cannot make friends with the rock stars. Capable of also playing comedic characters or villains, Hoffman ultimately won his only Academy Award for Capote, a role in which he effectively combined most of the different facets of his many other performances. Truman Capote. Dorothy Sanderson. I figured you'd be left alone this morning by that hard-working husband of yours, so I have breakfast. Number seven. Edward Norton. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. What? Like Ben Kingsley, Edward Norton is capable of playing one role in completely different ways in different parts of a single film. You ever shoot at violence? Ah, you come here, you shoot at my family? I'm gonna teach you a real lesson now. Yet, Norton has also pulled this off in more than one film. Quit your crying, I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. You little sissy, you make me sick playing a single character that goes through a massive change in movies like Primal Fear, The Incredible Hulk, Fight Club, and American History X, it may seem like paradigm shifts are a gimmick for this actor. You'll be out of here in no time. Come on, man, it's a piece of cake, man, I. But clearly, they're evidence of this Oscar-nominated thespian's many talents, as the changes he makes are refreshing time and time again. Trust me, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Number six, Johnny Depp. Hey, good morning, how are you? How are you, man? Doing very well. Once the darling of the film-loving crowd, Johnny Depp has proven himself to be a fantastic and adaptive actor throughout his long career. What's your name? Edward. 
Edward. Capable of pulling off the near silent role of Edward Scissorhands, equally as adept as a man that never shuts up, otherwise known as Captain Jack Sparrow, Depp is truly an actor's actor. You will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Even willing to strip himself of his good looks for fear and loathing in Las Vegas, or play the world's best lover in Don Juan DeMarco, Depp can easily keep us guessing, and almost always does. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine. Number five, Meryl Streep. Yeah, that's, that's right. There is a very good reason that Miss Streep is arguably one of the most respected actresses of all time and her range has a lot to do with it. Please, don't fuss about it. Whether she's perfectly bringing the spirit of Margaret Thatcher or Julia Child to life through makeup and her acting talents, or stripping away all pretenses as a mother who has to make a horrible, horrible choice, Streep never seems out of her depth. <laughs> bringing her comedic talents to bear in completely different ways in Death Becomes Her and Adaptation. You want to make it into a movie? Into a movie. Oh, God. <laughs> or even belting out some tunes in Mamma Mia, the multiple Oscar winner never hits a wrong note. Mamma Mia, now I really know. My, my, I should not let you go. Number four, Dustin Hoffman. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> there is a legendary story from the filming of Marathon Man that says that Dustin Hoffman showed up on set after staying awake for three days because his character in the film had also done so. Waking me up in the middle of the night, you trick! Ouch! What's the matter? Fellow respected actor and co-star Laurence Olivier reportedly retorted in response, why don't you just try acting? Yes, I think I know what y'all really want. You want some gross caricature of a woman to prove some idiotic point, like, like power makes women masculine or masculine women are ugly. Though this story is hilarious, it also tells you everything you need to know about Dustin Hoffman's determination as an actor. Ah, oh, it's a pirate's life, my lad! Which has led him to bring so many unique and enthralling, award-winning performances to the big screen that we've essentially lost count. Watch the plank, watch the plank! Break your goddamn skull. No way to collect insurance. Number three, Daniel Day-Lewis. I am the president of the United States of America, clothed in immense power! Any actor who has any designs on taking an Academy Award home with him better thank the stars that this Brit is not more prolific. When do we get our money, Daniel? <laughs> Why? Because when Daniel Day-Lewis sets foot on a film set, accolades seemingly fall on him like rain. We need to tenderize this meat a little bit. <laughs> From what we hear about his on-set behavior, Day-Lewis becomes so enmeshed in whatever role he chooses to take on that he barely breaks character and usually lives the role for the duration of the filming. I have a competition in me. I want no one else to succeed. As a result, perhaps the only elements of his performances that remain the same are his facial features. And that's not even a guarantee. If the worst happens, you stay alive. If they don't kill you, they'll take you north up to your own land. You submit, you hear? You're strong. Number two, Kate Blanchett. Go! <laughs> when director Todd Haynes and his producers were putting together a Bob Dylan biopic with different actors portraying different eras of the man's life, the only woman he reportedly tapped for the role was Kate Blanchett. Who said I was sincere? A testament to how much confidence the film community and audiences have in her abilities, she pulled off the part and garnered an Oscar nomination for it. Let's say sing while you slay, but let's just get bored. Also winning Oscars for playing a woman falling apart and one of pop culture's strongest women, Katherine Hepburn, Blanchett brings incredible poise to every role, unrecognizable as she may be in each one of them. It's kind of backward, don't you think? Yeah, well, the world's a bit like that, I guess, in a lot of ways. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. I'm gonna execute a button hook pattern super slow mo. Okay, stand by to roll tape. Thirty seconds. Settling. You had a pleasant evening last night. Uh, yes, thank you. I got you now. I got everything going for me. 
So I'm gonna do it up royal. This time I'm doing it up royal. How about that? There is nothing in the desert, and no man needs nothing. What was that? Just something from a film I like. You have a seat, boy. You have yourself an egg roll. We got everything here from a little eye Joe to damn if I know. Number one, Gary Oldman. I know I'm pretty. One of the first thespians to come to mind when you think of acting range. Gary Oldman is a character actor who is so good at his job that he's become a full-fledged star, despite coveting performances over paychecks, for the most part. I am the monster the breathing men would kill. I am Dracula. If you watched Hannibal without knowing the story behind the production, you probably wouldn't believe that the grotesque Mason Verger was brought to you by Harry Potter's Sirius Black. I did my waiting! Twelve years of it! There has never been an actor who is more likely to keep audiences and critics guessing and always intrigued. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Sid Vicious. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Not quite. Who's your favorite acting chameleon? You're not out. You're not out. When you are dead, then you are out. You are mine. I own you. For more indiscernible top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.